Tonight, the new six trust index takes a deep dive into coronavirus testing in Florida. So the Department of Health reports nearly 321,000 people have been tested. More than 30,000 came back positive. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden put those numbers through our trust index to see if they accurately reflect the number of people tested in our state. There are definitely a number of stats and numbers flying around when it comes to coronavirus. We put the state's testing numbers through the trust index and found people should definitely be careful when reviewing this information. In the fight against coronavirus, the state of Florida has daily reports and a dashboard that is updated up to twice a day. News 6 took a deeper dive into the state's testing numbers, something That's Governor Ron DeSantis talks about trend. at every briefing. Um, it's also important to put these numbers in context. It's like, you know, you, you hear this, Florida did this, that. Well, what does that mean? What's the basis of comparison? Putting the numbers in context is exactly what we plan to do. According to the Department of Health, Florida has administered more than 318,000 tests for coronavirus. With 22 million people in the state, it would appear the state has tested well over 1% of the population. But because the state does not include the number of retests in the testing totals, it is impossible to know for sure how many people have been tested. So the trust index on this issue is be careful when digesting these stats. According to the state's report, the Department of Health has confirmed 3,263 positive cases of coronavirus. News 6 has confirmed that all of those people were given this handout, advising them how to discontinue home isolation. It says after testing positive, they must have two negative tests in a row 24 hours apart. So presumably those 3,000 people had to be tested a total of three times times. We also know that first responders and healthcare workers are often retested before being allowed back to work. News 6 spoke with Dr. Raul Pino with the Florida Department of Health. He confirmed that retests are included in the totals. So when you see 300,000 tests, that may not mean 300,000 people. If you have a questionable claim you would like for News 6 to put through the trust index, we have a link on clickorlando.com. Reporting at the Orange County Convention Center, I'm Lewis Bolden, getting results. News 6.